So hi traders, happy morning to all. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss two topics. First topic, I'm going to discuss about this market directions. So whether it is going to market is going to crash or is going to uh, some consolidation mode. So that I, uh, that I'm going to discuss in this video. And second topic, I'm going to discuss about this trade plan for this uh, tomorrow. So bank nifty intraday trade plan levels, especially for this option buying levels, I'm going to discuss in this video. Now let's start with this uh, market directions. And if you see this, this is a bank nifty chart and daily time frame. And if you see this price action is a rejection and support, support, now price is exactly on rejection mode. And next support would be around these levels, right? The so support, support, right? Let's check with this in Nifty. And if you see this Nifty, support, support, and support zone. Now again, take the support. So support and bounds, and again, price closes below these levels. Next support would be around these levels. This levels is a support zones. And if you see this bank nifty, let's uh, enlarge the things. Uh, yes. Yeah. So if you see this bank nifty, bank nifty exactly price closes below this rejection zone. Next support zone would be around this uh, 37,987. This is close to 38,000 is a support zone. So 38,000 is a support zone. If any chances once break this level, so we can expecting some big crash for this downside. This is about bank nifty. Coming to this nifty. And if you see this Nifty, so Nifty also is getting the rejection from these levels and price closes below this 17,000 some psychological levels. Next support would be uh, around this uh, 16,800 uh, levels. But if any chances once price closes below this level, so we can expecting some big fall for the Nifty. So based on the situation, so this level, so Bank Nifty 38,000, it may act as a strong support and uh, Nifty also is uh, around this uh, uh, 16,700 levels, it may act as a support. If any chances break in these two levels, so we can expecting some crash into the market. So in between, we are expecting only some sideways market. It's a confusion mode only. It's not a perfect direction. But any chances price take the support above this level, we can expecting some movement for this upside. And here also, once break this level, we can expecting some movement for this upside. So right now, market is on confusion mode. Now let's discuss about this uh, bank nifty. So uh, each and every day I'm using for this trade plan based on the central pivot range and liquidity locations. And if you see this price action, most of the times prices restrict from this liquidity locations. These are CPR liquidity locations. See this rejection and take the support, see the bounce. And most of the times, most of the times price is restricting from this uh, liquidity locations, the CPR rejections. So that's what this trade plan is going to work. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, about these three trade plans. Let's check with this uh, central pivot range for this tomorrow. So this is uh, 39,435 is the bottom CPR and this is the 39,535 is the top CPR. The range is 100 points of the range. So 100 points of the range we can consider as a wide CPR and this is a trade zone. And here also is a trade zone. What is this trade zone? This is a Previous day high, so 39,775. And tomorrow, R1 levels is a 39,677. And coming to this downside, previous day low is a 39,291. And this is a tomorrow S1 levels, so 39,205. So here is a clearly mentioned on trade zones, especially for this option buyers. If you follow this trade zones, so most of the times, we just follow with the market and we are going to get this maximum profits. And in this range, in between is the no trade zone areas. So no trade zone areas is going to help for this option sellers. So based on this, I'm going to give three trade plan for this tomorrow. So price is closes around this level. So 39,395 levels. So CPR is a 39,435 and 535. And based on the situation, if any chances, price, flat opening, if any chances, right, plot opening or take the support from these levels and this CPR breakout, we are looking for this long opportunity and retracement. First target is the R1 levels and second target is the previous day high levels. So this is a trade plan. And traders try to avoid this type of big parabolic trade, uh, candles. So if any chances, parabolic candle cases, wait for the retracement opportunity with the confirmation bullish candle, we are going for this long opportunity. So this is a trade plan one. 
and flat opening price closes above the CPR level, some retracement and we are looking for this long opportunity. So always check with the risk reward. First target is around these levels. So once match the risk reward, minimum 2 hour, then only we are going to activate the trade. This is a trade plan 1 and coming to this trade plan 2. So if any chances, flat opening, flat opening and price getting rejection from this previous day low levels and closes below S1 levels. So what is this line? This is a wedge in CPR and this is also a wedge in CPR, right? So wedge in CPR most of the times is a, it may act as a strong support. So that's what, see any chances breaking this S1 levels. So definitely we are looking for the short opportunities. Our uh, target would be this around S2 levels. So once again, I'm repeating traders. So price is flat opening and take the rejection from this previous day low levels and price closes below this S1 levels. If any chances, big parabolic candle will get us, wait for the retracement opportunity and target would be this S2 levels. So this is a trade plan too. So when you are going to take that on retracement opportunities, so try to take any bearish confirmation candle, then only you can take the trade decision. Why bearish confirmation candle? We can keep the stop loss above this bearish confirmation candle. Whenever you are going to lose, lose very small amount and whenever you are going to get, get minimum 2 hour or 3 hours. So that is the concept of this, right? So this is the trade plan two. And coming to this trade plan three. So price, if any chances, price, uh, one moment. Yeah. So if any chances, price, little gap of opening and take the support from this R1 and if any chances, breaking virgin CPR levels. Virgin CPR, this is a, 39,877. So once breaking this level, so wait for this confirmation, uh, retracement opportunity around this previous day, high level with the confirmation candle, we can travel up to this R2 levels. Our first five minutes candle high. If any chances, this type of big candle cases. So target would be this R2 levels. So always check with the risk reward. Why we are looking for this retracement opportunities? Because the price has to close us above this break this level. This is a partial wedge in CPR. Price is getting the rejection on Friday, getting the rejection from this CPR levels. So tomorrow it will be a partial wedge in CPR. But always we need what we see in front of us, not we think. So in front of us, this is a partial wedge in CPR. One, once see this partial wedge in CPR cases, once break this level, so wait for some retracement opportunity with the confirmation candle. Sometimes it may fail you and sustain. So there's a high probable trade. Failure and sustained cases, we can catch the trend around these levels and target would be this R2 level. So this is the trade plan 3. So in this trade plan is going to uh, activate and this trade plan is going to work more than 70 to 80 percent of the times. But we are looking for this only 50 percent of the achievement and our account will be on positive side. Even last week also I am given this uh, 5 trading uh, days trade plans and 3 trading days is given for this very good profit and 2 trading days is given for this no trade. So no trade also is going to help to us because of there is no losses of our account. Okay. So last week is given for this three trading opportunities given this very good profits and two no trade zones. Sir. So try to follow this uh, trade location and trade zone. So based on the price action, based on the market direction, you can take the trade decision. Just follow with the market. So always trend or follow with the trend. So trend is your friend. Okay. So that's it for today traders and uh, the purpose of making this video to helping to retail and novice traders to become successful and professional traders. And for more details, you can check my telegram channel. Past three years, two and a half years data is available in my telegram channel. Date wise uh, trade plan versus achievement details, uh, you'll be getting in my telegram channel. In description, I'm sharing my telegram channel link. So that's it for today traders and this is Ashok Bomera signing up and we'll catch you on tomorrow evening with the post market analysis.